Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Yesterday, we went over the 53-man roster for the Bears. Now, it's time to go over the 53-man practice squad because the Bears have already filled out their 16-man practice squad. Things are certainly subject to change and likely will change over the next few days and, of course, throughout the 2020 NFL season. So just a couple of reminders, 16 players in the practice squad this year. NFL wanted to expand it due to COVID-19, give a couple of extra bodies for each NFL player should there be, or each NFL team should there be an outbreak. Keep that in mind. Up to two players per week can be called up to the active roster. A couple of interesting notes for the Bears practice squad this year. Uh, no Kevin Tolliver, no uh, Ladarius Mack. They are not on the Bears practice squad, so I was a little bit surprised by that. Let's go ahead and go through it list style here, and then we will uh, dive into each player individually uh, a little bit as well. Tyler Bray, Artavis Pierce, Thomas Ives, and Reggie Davis are your first four members on the practice squad here. And then Rodney Adams, Jesper Horstead, of course. You know the Bears. Got to keep as many tight ends as possible. Achavius Simmons, Jamon Brown, Brown being the only non-Bear uh, who wasn't on the initial 80-man roster. He visited recently. They add him to the practice squad. Bedora Traor, Sam Mustafer lands on the practice squad after not making the 53-man, so that's all your offensive players. Six players on the defense, Abdullah Anderson, LaCale London, and then, of course, I guess I should just say five players on the defense, Rashad Smith, Xavier Crawford, Stephen Denmark, and then Cairo Santos being your uh, your backup kicker there. We'll see uh, how Eddie Pinero progresses with his uh, groin injury, but as of now, the Bears are keeping Santos in the practice squad. We will let you guys know if something changes over the next couple of days as we get closer and closer to week one because, guys, we are pretty, pretty close. I want to ask you this question. Are you upset about Kevin Tolliver and Ladarius Mack being gone? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I was shocked Tolliver didn't make the 53-man roster. I'm even more surprised that he's not a part of the practice squad. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think about that. Would love your thoughts. Type Y for yes, type N for no. All right, individually, again, here, Tyler Bray, the quarterback. This is no surprise. I thought there might be a chance he makes the 53-man due to COVID, but no one was going to claim him, so the Bears slide him to the practice squad. No harm, no foul there. He is ready to rock. Artavis Pierce, a player that I like and I know many of you like as well. He lands on the practice squad, so... Uh, that is good. Uh, I thought earlier in camp there could be a chance that he makes uh, this football team, but uh, in the end, getting him on the practice squad makes a lot of sense, and that's a good thing for the Bears. Thomas Ives uh, is one of several receivers on the practice squad. He was in camp as well, 6'4", 218, so we'll see if he can continue to develop just 24. Another 24-year-old wide receiver, Reggie Davis, he lands on the practice squad, more of a smaller receiver at 5'11", and 185 pounds. Rod Rodney Adams, he's kind of bounced around a little bit, 25 years old. He was with the Colts briefly a couple of years ago. He has been around the NFL, 6'1", 190, 25 years old. He is in the mix as well. Uh, as is Jesper Horstead, like I said, a tight end here, 6'3", 240, 23 years old. The Bears love them. They're tight ends. But I mentioned Artavis Pierce. want to dive into him just a little bit deeper here. I liked him coming out of Oregon State, 146 carries, 873 yards last year, six touchdowns, average six yards, a run in 2019. I think uh, this is a player that could develop and eventually be a player that uh, does some things for the Chicago Bears. So I think... Uh, this is a guy to keep an eye on and a player to keep an eye on moving forward. I want uh, to ask you guys this question uh, uh, because Artavis Pierce is my favorite player on the Bears practice squad. Who's your favorite player on the Bears practice squad? Go ahead and let me know. I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So let me know who you guys' favorite player is on the Bears practice squad right now. Jamon Brown, I mentioned, wasn't with the Bears in camp. Recently visited. Veteran, 6'4", 340, just a mashing guard. A lot of NFL teams are going to carry several offensive linemen on the practice squad, Brown being the one for the Chicago Bears here. Lachavius Simmons, offensive guard, uh, seventh-round rookie. Arlington Hambright made the roster. Simmons did not, but he returns on the practice squad, so I think that is certainly a good thing. A couple of more offensive linemen here. Bedora Traor out of LSU. I liked him coming out. Goes undrafted. He lands 
on the practice squad. And then Sam Mustafer, who I thought was a, 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 a surprise omission off the 53-man roster, but it gives them some center flexibility. Of course, James Daniels can slide over and play center uh, if something were to happen to Cody Whitehair during a game. But uh, Mustafer on the practice squad makes a whole lot of sense. So before we get to the defensive side... I want to tell you guys about this deal we've got with our partner, Fanatics. We've got face coverings available just for you guys at chatsports.com slash bears masks. Some of these are on sale now, so I think you guys should take advantage of this. Here's the reality. If you go to the grocery store, if you go out in public, you're going to have to wear one of these. So why not rep the Bears in style and stay safe in the process? Like I mentioned, lots of these are on sale at chatsports.com slash Bears masks. I know this three-pack in particular is on sale as I'm filming this video. So go ahead and take advantage of this at chatsports.com slash Bears masks. I'll put that link in the comments. I'll put it in the description. Make it easy for you guys. You click on it, boom, you can shop and you can pick out uh, your favorite Bears face coverings today. Get to the defensive players here. Uh, Abdullah Anderson, he was a fringe 53-man guy. Doesn't make the cut, but he does return onto the practice squad. I'm sure the Bears were very, very excited to see that. LaCale London, who's listed as a linebacker, a D-end, a defensive tackle. He's been listed at every position. He returns. Uh, intriguing prospect, local kid out of Western Illinois. I, I, I'm encouraged to see his development. I'm glad he returns to the practice squad. Rashad Smith here. I liked him coming out of a uh, Florida Atlantic productive player went undrafted. The Bears picked him up. They reward him by putting him on to the practice squad. You see the numbers when he was at FIU or FAU, I should say, excuse me. He was productive. He was a good player. Had over 11 tackles for loss during his senior season. Had 12 tackles for loss a couple of years ago as a sophomore. So I was glad to see him return onto the practice squad as well. Got a couple more players here as we round out our 16-man practice squad for the Bears. Xavier Crawford, he returned special teams guru. Kind of gives him a depth, a security blanket there if something were to happen. Steven Denmark, they can continue his development for the Chicago Bears. They love his size at 6'2", 217. Maybe they explore him more at safety and see if he can make an impact there moving forward, but I am glad to see him return. Like I mentioned, two kickers. Cairo Santos is on the practice squad. Eddie Pinero on the 53-man. He's banged up with the groin injury, so it's very possible that Santos could get activated for week one. We'll just have to wait and see. So that is your Bears 53-man or 16-man uh, practice to squad. I want to ask you guys this question here before we got a little Bears news to get into as well because the Bears did make a signing. Week one, guys. Week away. Predict the score. Bears at Lions. What do you guys think? What do you guys think the score of this week one matchup is going to be? Go ahead and let me know. Predict it in the comments section. Uh, week one, I'm optimistic. I think the Bears win my way too early prediction. How about Bears 24, Lions 17. Chicago squeezes one out on the road. A little bit of news to get into. The Bears signed Mario Edwards. This one coming in from earlier today. Defensive line depth, of course, with Eddie Goldman opting out. They're a little thin up front. The Bears only put 53 on their initial active roster. So I was intrigued by this. Keep in mind, too, and I know a lot of you guys, I put a community post up on this one. You guys were like, oh, they don't have to cut someone off, off to 53, man, because Marquis Christian is suspended. No, Christian isn't a part of the initial 53-man roster. So they will have to make a move to make room for Edwards. As we're filming this, they have not made one. If uh, if they announce that they have cut a, a specific player, I'll be sure to pin that comment onto this video. But you look at the defensive line depth chart here. Gives you some depth off the edge. Edwards has bounced around the NFL. Uh, he's been around for a little while. So I think this make some sense for the Chicago Bears. So they add a defensive end uh, just a day after they finalize their 53-man roster. So I think that's a, you know, that's a good thing. They needed some depth there. So all is good for the Chicago Bears as they bring in Mario Edwards off the defensive end. So there you go. They uh, are off of free agency. There you go. The Bears, uh, they got their 16-man practice squad. Like I said, things are subject to change. Mario Edwards, he is now in the fold. As things continue to develop and we get closer and closer to week one, you're going to want to make sure you are subscribed to Bears now. So hit that big red button. Share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash Bears now. I've been your host, Harrison Graham. I am signing off. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend.